Hello and welcome to South with Sudha. I have a very, very special guest today, a very, very bright young girl all the way from Tamil Nadu. She's been nominated, or rather, she's one of the finalists for the prestigious Earthshot Award, which is one of the biggest when it comes to the field of environment. You know, it's so lovely when young people are so concerned with environment and climate change that it really gladdens your heart. So let's go straight to her and say Vanakam first and then maybe hi. Welcome, Venisha Omashankar. Vanakam. Vanakam and hello, everyone. How are you? Thank you for asking. Venisha, congratulations. And, you know, Thank I, you so much. I've read so much about you. I mean, I've seen videos of yours. You really are a star from Tamil Nadu. You know, I'm so proud as a Tamil that a Tamil girl. Of course, every child in India is very, very special. But you are from Tamil Nadu, so that makes it doubly special. So let's, you know, start from the point. Because, see, these are not hobbies that you cultivate. Climate change, environment is a kind of a lifelong mission. You know, it's course. Yeah, because I know that you play the keyboard. I know you're interested. Yes. You know, you have hobbies. This is not a hobby. Tell us when did your interest in climate change start, Venisha? It started early on around eight or 10 years old, but I only started working on innovation for climate change when I turned 12 years old. Wow. So that would be seventh standard. That's when innovation actually started. But I became interested in climate change around eight, eight years old or 10 years old. So third to fifth standard between this. How thrilled are you to be a finalist in the Earthshot Award? I mean, I'm so excited and happy. This is a dream come true and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes. I mean, this is the Earthshot Prize. It's the most prestigious global environment prize there is right now. And being the youngest finalist, I do feel like this is a privilege that I shouldn't misuse. So it's such a wonderful opportunity for me. Absolutely, Vinisha. You know, I was reading, and you should tell the viewers of India ahead as to what really triggered this, these solar panels, you know. So for our viewers, let me tell you, in India, what is very popular, which you don't see anywhere else, uh, in the subcontinent, apparently, it's also very prevalent in Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Nepal, is the Preswala, as we understand. Yes. In certain parts of Tamil Nadu, it's called laundry. You know, remember? And the laundry equipment, you know, is three. That's the word. Yeah. Now, apparently, Vinisha saw somebody, uh, uh, someone who would iron clothes, you know, in her neighborhood and decided about how she can help to make it environment friendly and also make it very easy for those who are involved in this profession. So over to you, Vinisha, tell us. So basically we were ending seventh grade and we had just learned about renewable energy concepts in class because that's when we are introduced to solar energy, wind energy and all the renewable energy sources. So this was just the start. But that very day, I noticed the ironing vendors in my street using charcoal to iron clothes. Now, this is a normalcy. Everybody sees this and everybody thinks it's normal. But to me, noticing that they burn charcoal and then dump it in the garbage, this procedure didn't seem right to me. To me, it seemed wrong because it was causing a lot of problems. Now, what exactly were these problems? I came to know only after my research. And what I concluded is that it causes air pollution, it causes respiratory diseases, and contributes to climate change along with deforestation. So these are four major problems caused by a simple thing like ironing. Right. So and how did you go about the solar panel? I mean, tell us about that, which has actually made you to this prestigious yeah. award, Venisha Omashankar. This was the situation, but why I decided to use solar energy was when I did my research, I figured out that we all know by common sense, India has a lot of sunny days. Hmm. We face the sunlight almost every single day, but in numbers, that is 330 sunny days. So considering that high amount of sunlight, it seemed wrong to not use it to its full potential. So instead of using any other renewable energy source, I chose the most viable and efficient one. That is so brilliant. So how will, just explain, Venisha, that 
this iron which the neighborhood fellow has suppose your idea is brought to fruition how will his iron look like so how will the core be replaced as it were so basically in a normal iron and i'm assuming that most of you would have seen a brass iron box with charcoal inside it now in this iron box the charcoal is burnt to produce heat and then it's ironed so this process has to be replicated in a sustainable and renewable manner so what i did was with the solar panels using an iron box any normal iron box can be just plugged into the solar panel to get heated up now the difference between a charcoal iron box and a steam iron box is actually that in a charcoal iron box it takes so much time to heat up and this time only increases when it's humid or cold it takes forever for the ironing vendor to actually heat the charcoal wow. and i've seen this because i live close by to one of the ironing vendors they have to wake up a lot earlier just to make sure the charcoal burns but in this case you don't need to wait that long in fact it only takes like 10 to 15 seconds for oh. the iron box to heat up oh. and it's renewable it's a one time investment and it works for 25 years that's brilliant so it's environment friendly it also saves you time and it is yes. also something which you can use in modern times when time of course is of essence you're all of 14 years old anisha do you yes. think i want to ask you this because global warming climate change and environment concerns are now not just about concerns but they are now more political than ever do you think that india as a country do you think are we still there or are we lacking completely in trying to understand what kind of impact can climate change have on our future i think uh, on a global scale not just considering india but we're all trying to solve climate change independently as countries now in my own experience by talking with other children across the world that is simply not how we can solve climate change because climate change itself is a global issue sure. and if we're trying to combat it country by country that's going to reduce the efficiency of our work so basically climate change is an issue where all countries have to come together to solve it and even though we can solve our independent problems separately there are many global issues that contribute to climate change sure. and those issues should be tackled by all the countries coming together ironing is the issue that is prevalent in most developing countries so i think whichever countries are using charcoal based irons majoritively they should come together to find a positive solution one that is practical and reachable to all sections of the society yes. that kind of solution has to be found and i believe that my solar ironing cart can be the first step absolutely there is no doubt about it and vinisha omashankar thank you so much for speaking with india head and we wish that today you are a finalist but tomorrow when i speak to you you emerge as the winner as ever thank you thank you so much you can agree